Okay. Hi. We are in the Dry Creek Bed. It's October of 2009. This has been a problem for quite some time. Uh, this is a culvert uh, that in probably three or four weeks will be gushing with water when the California winter rains start. And this very point here has been the bane of many hopes for electricity. Uh, this is the intake, the first intake of our hydroelectric system. And when the water's coming down and it's 34 degrees and it's gushing to standing here and holding it and trying to make it happen, it's very difficult. So I managed yesterday in not such street clothes but in more jeans and kind of t-shirt happenings to ram this 4x4 underneath the culvert and then bolt this down and then tie the heck out of it. Not pretty, but I think it's going to work. There's a space in between here and here is the intake tube. So hopefully the force of the water will not cause this to crash. I think it'll be okay at least for this winter. When the water comes in, it'll some of it will obviously splash around so we're not taking up the whole creek in a way we couldn't because it's actually huge. You can't believe how much water will come in through here in January, February, March. Uh, the exact time when there's no sun because we're on a north slope um, so there's no solar electricity. So the second problem, um, which I think I've uh, solved, is that this needs to go all the way down in a complete, uh, can't be going up, it can't have any bumps in it because it starts to accumulate little pieces of gravel. So. We, I just made sure that it was level all the way along here, and uh, this is where the 4x4 four four rests on the stone, and from here I'm just tying it, and it goes down here, I don't know how well you can see, but through this barrel intake, uh, over which I've got some gravel, I've got some, uh, sorry, uh, gravel prevention um, mesh. So this is the kind of gravel that we don't want to flow into the pipe. So it accumulates in this uh, wine barrel and then flows downhill. Uh, there's about 500 feet of, uh, I guess this is about one inch uh, poly pipe uh, down the creek bed to a location where there is a Harris Pelton wheel. Uh, Harris is the most recent person who developed it and Pelton wheel is sort of a standard name um, for a turbine. So the water gets funneled down into a very fine uh, nozzle and then spins a wheel and then there's an old Ford alternator on it which causes electricity and then that electricity goes up another 500 feet back up to the cabin. So most of this system was put in uh, in 97, uh, <laughs> 12 years ago, and has worked, worked well for a while and then intermittently as we were living overseas in Japan. And um, I think primarily it should work and then we'll have electricity for whatever months we tend to, we decide to spend here this winter. Okay, uh, there's the intro to the intake of the hydroelectric system.